talking about this this event and i some of them were like the the only reason i i was talking to the guys earlier and i said that the only reason that i know it was nanaimo and not like nanano or nunu was because you guys have mentioned that that location before because i've read it in a couple of articles about this and they just misspelled the name and i'm like how do you how do you do that like you have maps <laughs> like, yeah, i listened just... to a couple podcasts for this episode and several times kawi chan it's the kawi chan yeah. or nanamu Nanumu. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Nanumu. That's Close. Great. It's not bad. Now, the other I thing was I was thinking. going to say Shamanus. Oh, Shamanus. I wish got. Yeah, we should got Dan to say Shamanus. We should have. Um, the the one thing that I was thinking is that, like, let's go off like under the presumption that this thing is extraterrestrial. The things on board are human-like, but not human. That's why they have the cut face covers. But it's low-tech. So then I was thinking, I was like, so could sexy. you? Could we chalk up well, like... If you were that sexy, would you want to cover <laughs> it up? Well, maybe, but yeah, but maybe they're butterfaces, right? That's fine. They're wearing masks. Right? Yeah, well, that's why. That's why they cover it up. Yeah. But well, um, you know, so the then bonds. I was thinking that, you know, perhaps it's, it's one of those things, and, and maybe we, in just this... For UFOs to just go out exploring... Right, they're exploring. They come and they see life. What they they kind of examine, and then they go. Like may, maybe they don't have a special interest in staying and sticking around. It's they come here and then they move on to the next. So what what we've been seeing in some of these flaps is that like these UFOs are from star systems that are closer because it, the, the the technology is not as good, so they can't travel as far so maybe like if it's you know one of these systems it's only like you know 30 light years away right and they've they have their kind of ships that aren't as good and then you see these other ones that just you know vanish and shake and radar maybe they're even older from you know distant distant stars so when they come here we it's that's just a human thing where we're like they're here for us but really it's like they're just it's they're just explorers looking at life and then they move on and we're just seeing various waves of like different tech technologically advanced civilizations from across the galaxy right and we just think that they all have to be connected but maybe they're not Right, maybe mm, like some of these the hillbilly UFOs, <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> but maybe those UFOs are getting will get buzzed in space. You know what I mean? They'll get buzzed by a different UFO, and they're like, "Holy shit!" Right? Like, "Oh my god, that what it's is that sa- thing?" It's the same for everything. There's always there's like always a, a more unidentified fine object than yourself. There's a, there's always a more <laughs> unidentifiable identifiable flying object. Yeah. Yeah. If if you just take like. There's all if you're if you're the best you think you're the best there's always someone better, okay? yeah. There's always someone better. There's always someone better than them. It might take a few years, but eventually someone's better than them. So it, it makes sense for ETs as well. Are we, talking about, no one... are we talking about ETs or apex screen? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, there's no apex of aliens. There's always a better alien. There's always a better craft. They're always coming from somewhere farther. That's what I think. Or, or the other thing I kind of was thinking of is like, you know, this is, I was just kind of super bored at work. So I was kind of letting my brain go uh, in tons just of Just something new. Got bored at work for once, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Literally every so day. Hard. Yeah, hard um, <laughs> now, I was thinking that, you know, perhaps this is one of those things where, you know, we, we, we talked last week about artificial intelligence. And like, let's say there's like a not a very friendly AI that's all consuming right like that's coming and it takes and like what if these species that we see that are maybe they're just like maybe they're just passing by because they're like this entire galaxy is slowly being taken over and we're on the out so it's like we're on the outskirts and these people are flying like we're on the highway while everyone's leaving right we're just we're just passing us by as they're leaving from something that's worse closer to the core uh, of the milky way galaxy that's slowly spreading out right but don't like that one yeah, <laughs> no, I was like thinking that about that today. Yeah, that's... Right. So maybe like the, you know scary. they take lives, they they take samples, and then they continue on, right? Because if they can, if you you could work in with a bunch of stuff. Because if you could have some sort of hybridization program, you're like, okay, well we know planets like this exist, so we could inhabit them on the way. Give ourselves the best chance to just keep life going from this thing. I like That's that. I was kind of going today. I like that. I like it. 
I don't think the joystick guides are making it too far. <laughs> just, just saying. They're, they're fucked. They're getting caught. Yeah, it's just that that yeah, was they one barely of the... survived a cougar attack. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's one of the things that stuck in my head. Just the the the, the image of a one of the just like grabbing the stick and just feel like God, put it in reverse. Like why? <laughs> like, I can't. Like, it's insane. Um, yeah, but it's it's just uh, like I mentioned before. Like this is um, this case is interesting because it's like not only yeah you have health professionals not just one you have two at least that like saw least, something exceedingly strange i've seen it craft then, at least yeah and then the other the other ones that saw it and um i like kendall is is asked about it like um later in in interviews uh, she was you know asked about the events of course like people approached her and talked about it and um she was talking about how you know she cl- she clearly described these these entities that she saw standing uh standing inside the craft and they kind of asked her like well did anybody else see these how come none of the other nurses how come uh, miss wilson didn't see it um she know and she just says it it was just timing like it was just that the craft was like turning away as she called wilson over and by the time wilson came over it was like they were just facing kind of the the rear of this craft or the the craft had moved in such an it, it, it positioned itself in such an angle that you couldn't see you can see him anymore. Um, but she, she never kind of, she's never really, she, she never changed her story. Like nothing ever really kind of, um, there were no, the, the story didn't change. Times didn't change nothing. Um, it just seemed to kind of just stay very consistent, uh, through her retellings, uh, of this event. Um, I, <laughs> like I just, it never just seems profited. really, never, never really profited change it when you're telling the truth. Yeah. And, yeah. Again, she she wrote this down in a professional log, like a professionally kept log. She wrote it in there, just saying that saw UFO at five thirty five fifteen a.m. Da 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 da. I wrote it in there, and it's like I don't even know if I'd write that in there. (laughs) Like if somebody was just like, you got to chart it, buddy. It's what you see when you're doing your rounds. You see something, you chart it. I mean, especially in this day and age, it's not like it was open. Like people were losing pilot's license and you know stuff like that for this kind of stuff. So yeah, it's. I don't know if I would have done that too at the time. Now, hell yeah, I'm gonna. I'd be like, I need some time off because of this. <laughs> the the knowledge that I'm not alone in the universe is causing me great uh, stress. So I'm gonna need to take a stress leave here. Uh, yeah, this I, and then like uh, like Andrew mentioned, there were other cases around the same time that that happened that people were seeing. You know, it just seemed that they were experiencing some sort of UFO flap. Uh, there in uh on victoria island in british columbia were having their own um uh, just a, like just a constant series of ufo encounters um there's one that we'll probably talk about at another time uh there's another uh event that's associated with this one called uh that happened in mill bay um that we will probably uh cover on another case file because we found out as while looking at this one that that one is also exceedingly <laughs> interesting uh to look into so we'll definitely cover that one on another case file um you know as we move on <laughs> there's always another case file there's always another ufo and the more you look in the more cases you find and in this case there seems to be one pretty much right next door yeah yeah this is one was a fun uh was it the uh the nesting doll <laughs> it was like a nesting doll ufo case because sometimes we go into <laughs> Yeah, you start you, you you dig into one case file and you find like, wait, what is this one? Like this one branches off into this one, and you know related events connecting the dots. It's what we do here, so it just seems really yeah. This one leads into this one as well, so this one will be fun. Another one to dig into uh, on a future case file. Exciting, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. We'll get there in pro- I don't know case file four fifty five. Yeah. I believe we're putting it down in the books. We have it on the calendar for four fifty five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we barely have two case files planned ahead. Usually, yeah, four if we're lucky. Four is good. If we get four ahead, it's good. All right, and this week's theorite of the week. There's a couple different w- ways to get theorite of the week. One of them is to leave us a amazing, immaculate, top notch five star review. Get onto the Facebook group would be number two. That's a official Alien Theorist Theorizing Facebook group. You can find it in the link tree. 
Or number three is to just send Braden something and he'll put you on there. So <laughs> there's three different ways to get on. Everyone knows. Easy. Everyone, easy, easy, easy. This week we got a review and I think Andrew is going to give his best attempt to read something without stuttering. Not even once. Slightly concussed, so it's going to be interesting. Eh, no big deal. Five stars. Oh, favorite podcast. I've been listening for a while and have to say, this podcast has changed my life for the better. My arthritis? Gone. Tonight is gone. gone. <laughs> my credit score? Elevated. Elevated. My dance moves? Perfect. Oh. Now men approach me in the streets, willingly offer me their money and credit cards. <laughs> when I couldn't even get a date before. That's the boys have really come through for me, and I appreciate the humor and details they bring to every case file. Zell, Dan, Braden, and Andrew feel like old friends now, keeping those eyes on the skies. Now, listen, I want to be very – Mama Rafi. Seriously. Listen. Well, that's the thing. We're not – this is nepotism. All right? We're not giving you – we're not giving you Terror of the Week just because you're related to fucking Rafi, Canadian legend, guy we grew up with, singer-songwriter. We're giving it to you because that review is really good. Yeah. How do you know? know she, how do you know she's not? How do you know? How do you know she's not related? She has to be. Good how, how many other Raffies do you know? It's only one Raffy, man. Raffy Torres. Yeah. That guy. That's is the only other one. Canadian too. Yeah. He's carrying. He's Canadian. I think he's related to him too, though. That's why so he's that, so angry. Yeah. You that, have that, like yin and yang. This is true. This is this is what this is exactly what we told you a few case files ago. If you subscribe to Alien Theorist Theorizing, your whole and. Everything could be reversed for you. All good fortunes will come your way. <laughs> Terminal illnesses? <laughs> Gone. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> perhaps. Maybe. Yeah. Little, a- little asterisks under that one. Possibly Maybe. not. Well, I would, I, would, I, would, uh, I would ask, are you listening enough? Or the biggest, here's the biggest thing here. You don't know until you try. Yeah, it's just true. Fuck, pull the trigger. It's like Reiki healing, you know? You don't really know until someone swirls yeah. the crystals over you. It's like Scientology. So you listen the more to you pay, the more you heal. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> so on that note, if you're not supporting the show and you want the early access to all the case files, ad-free, the bonus stuff, by now you know where to go. You go to AlienTheorist.com, you hit the support tab, you support us on Patreon or Supercast. They do the same thing. And we really appreciate it. And we read your fucking name also. All right, we read it once, sometimes twice if we get lucky and we forget who we read the week before. This week's newest supporters, we have Jack Buckley, Sean Fazani, Scudian goes up a tier, Clayton, Dan is supporting his own show. That's how desperate he is. I like the extra content. Yeah, Yeah, we don't give Dan the code for the Patreon. Yeah. yeah, He records it all. But he doesn't get to listen to any of it. Nope. Yes, you gotta subscribe. Mm-mm. I like coloring. So does Braden. He's terrible at it, but he likes it. Outside the lines and everything. <laughs> Todd, Todd Clement. Lance. <laughs> Anon. Hillbilly. And Jalen. Cruz. 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 It's like Cruz, but no I. No I in there. Cruz. Cruz. Jalen Kruz, thank you very much for supporting the show. We appreciate it. And as we always say at the end of these things, keep those eyes on the skies. See you in after hours. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.